I'm going to first show you the contents of the presentation, which talks about the office space and capital markets, and then I'll take you one by one. If I can have the contents, please. So here is the contents. I'm going to start with major policy initiatives, Hyderabad in global rankings, key transaction from 2015, Hyderabad leads in office space pan India, absorption among global city, Hyderabad office market snapshot, share of fortune 1000 companies in Hyderabad, Hyderabad office market post COVID, impact of work from home, global investment in Hyderabad and major partnership. Now let's talk about few of the initiative this government has taken to boost the real estate. I think few of them, uh, my, my dear friend Samson from Knight Frank has already spoken, but let me uh, revisit. The recent past TS I pass is one of the historic landmark decision as far as real estate is concerned ever done in the history of India real estate. I think we should give it to this city, you should give it to this government. I think, I think all the state governments will be really jealous of what this city has done, what the state has done as far as reforms in real estate is concerned. And I'm very, very sure that most of the states are going to follow the TSIB pass. It's an amazing, which gives you a sort of self-approval certification in 21 days. We are talking of integrated township. No other states has thought about integrated township. We have an amazing outer ring road. We have an amazing regional road. How to decongest the city? How to make sure there is a growth across Hyderabad, not only in Western Corridor, and this new geo has been passed or new initiative how to do integrated township in, in, in outskirts to spur growth and also make housing uh, really, really affordable. We all know about strategic road development plan. We all know about strategy Nala development plan, which were recently passed to make sure that if there is some heavy monsoon rains, the city does not get uh, clocked. So these are some of the few landmark decisions the state has passed or city has passed, which really makes the people's life more uh, better, the quality of life more better. Now, this really shows how proactive this government is. Except Hyderabad, that is this state, one more or one or two states, no other states in India have started thinking of the EV policies, and we have already an EV policy that is the electric vehicle and electric vehicle motor uh, regulations and act has been passed to make few of the clusters where the investments on EV is going to come. And this is, this is amazing, right? When the other states take three years, five years to think and act, here we have already acted and we have an EV policy. This really talks a, a, a great about uh, the government. Whether it is life sciences, as you know, the, it is a vaccine capital of uh, India, and, and globally also, one, one third or one fourth of vaccine produced globally is, is from this uh, city. And, and we have a huge, huge uh, corridor for life sciences. This government is talking new corridors for pharma city, life sciences, biosciences. This, this again, a, a direction in the, in, the, in the right path. And also, as you know, government launched the cloud platform for SMACs, and you would have read the Amazon taking four to five uh, locations across Hyderabad to set up more than $2.7 billion of investments in Hyderabad in, 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 the, in the storage of the cloud business. Now, I think this slide really talks about what this government has achieved in the last six years. J JLL, globally, will we do a Momentum Index College, JLL City Momentum. It is not prepared by JLL India. It is prepared by JLL Global Headquarters, Chicago. Globally, they rank almost 120 cities globally on different parameters. As a proud Hyderabadi, I think I can tell in, in 2020, JLL Momentum Index, JLL this ranked, JLL Global ranked Hyderabad as the number one city globally in terms of the Momentum Index. And I think from, from 20 rank in 2015 to rank one in 2020 really, really uh, talks high about what, what this government has done. 
whether it comes to the startup ecosystem, T-Hub, and, and, and globally, again, Telangana has been ranked as one of the top 30 ecosystem for, 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 for uh, talent and also 100 emerging for ecosystem for startups. I think one of when I entered this hall, the Mercer's uh, ranking has been there everywhere in this hall. It is really a proud that Mercer, one of the world's best HR consultancy company, has rated Hyderabad as the best city to live in continuously, number one for five years. And this is, this is something amazing. Recently, LinkedIn rated Hyderabad as one of the top three cities to attract talent. One of the top three cities to attract talent. Now, six years back, we all were tensed because of the state uh, division issue. There were a lot of chaos. And within six years, Hyderabad has become one of the top three cities to, for talent. Now, see the statistics for IT exports. When this present government came, we had an export of 57,000 crore. And now we are the, almost the number two uh, or number one in, in India when it comes to exports from a city. We have reached from 57,000 crore to 1.28 lakh crore. This talks volume, volume about what, what this city has achieved. Now if you see the normal growth of, of IT exports, average India growth is close to 8%, 8.09, where Telangana has been growing at a rate of 17.93%. Now, I think this slide and this, the brand which is reflected in this slide talks all about what this city has achieved. You see, almost all of these brands are Fortune 500, Fortune 1000. Most of the brands, if you see, many of them were not there uh, six years before, but now are there. If you see in 2020, you, we have Providence, Mass Mutual, and, and Mass Mutual was not there in this city. And one of the, one of the biggest healthcare uh, companies. Providence, again, one was biggest healthcare company. In 2019, Micron uh, took a huge space in Hyderabad. Now, PepsiCo, one of the beverage giants, has set up a huge base in Hyderabad for their back office, for IT, for their admin, HR. They have set up a base in, base in Hyderabad. Whether it is Union Bank of Switzerland, whether it is Qualcomm, whether it is Bytance, whether it is Intel. If you see 2018, now, everyone has heard about Facebook, WeWork. Few of the companies which people have not heard, but I want to tell you, take for ICE. I, you would have not heard of this company called ICE. ICE is the holding company which owns New York Stock Exchange, holds NASDAQ. They are the largest company holding stock exchanges, and they have an office in Hyderabad where they do very high-end IT and, and, and back-end processing job. That is ICE for you. So many more companies have come and set up their base in Hyderabad. Six years back, we were not even in top five when it comes to the banking and financial BFSI clients. You had Bombay, you had Pune, you had Chennai. Now, after Bombay, if you talk of, we are the second highest in terms of the BFSI clients, and I'm the way we are going, I'm very confident that we'll beat Bombay when it comes to BFSI back office and BFI tech. And these are the major press clipping which has come in the last five to six years about major transaction in office space. Whether it is recently, you would have seen uh, Honorable Minister KTR Garu also tweeted about the world's biggest investment banking company, Goldman Sachs, deciding to set up a office in Hyderabad. And this really, 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 I think, I think will take Hyderabad to the next level. Goldman Sachs showing confidence during COVID and deciding. Please mind it, Goldman Sachs decided to take a call of going ahead with Hyderabad post-COVID. It is not a pre-COVID uh, call. I, I spoke about ICE, I spoke about Providence, Micron Technologies. These are the major office space transactions. This is a very, very interesting slide where Hyderabad is the number one city, and I'll explain you what you mean by number one city across the world when it comes to the, uh, the demand of office space. Please look at the bottom, it is a percentage of what is the existing stock in a city, what is the existing stock in a city versus the annual absorption of the city. In 2019, Hyderabad was number one city globally where it was close to 10.5 to 11 million square feet. So what is that percentage to 70 to 75 million square feet of office space which is there in Hyderabad? On that parameter, Hyderabad ranked the number one 
are beating Bangalore, beating Xinjiang, beating Delhi and many more cities in China. Now, Hyderabad office space snapshot in last five to six years, just want to show how the proactive policies of this government has helped the office market to grow. I am a firm believer, any city, if it has to grow, the IT, ITS plays a major role. Whether you see the, the, the evolution of Bangalore in the last 20 years, you see the evolution of real estate or economy of Gurgaon or Pune, a lot of credit goes to the IT and BPO. If you see when this, this state government came to power in mid of 2014, and 2015, we were a 5.4 million to 5.7 million square feet market, 5.7 million. Last year, we had 10.5 to 11 million square feet of office absorption. So within four to five years, it doubled. It doubled from a 5.7 million to, to almost 10.5 to 11 million square feet of office space was absorbed in a year. Now, people might say, 2019, 10.5 million square feet was leased in Hyderabad office space, and this year we are projecting 5.5, so almost 50%. But mind it, during this COVID, even 5.5 million square feet of office space absorption will be one of the highest of the second highest in India. Look at that perspective, what is the share of Hyderabad office leasing this year as compared to last year? 2020, 5.5 million, which is, which is a good thing. A very interesting slide, I think we should all be proud of. You see, what is the percentages of Fortune 1000 companies year and year in the total leasing? In 2015, we had 30%, and in 2019, 58%, and we are projecting in 2020, 55%. So this is the share of Fortune 1000 companies in the total leasing percentage. So what it means is, <coughs> if last year Hyderabad did, let's suppose, 11 million square feet, 58% or if you round it off to 60%, almost 6.6 .6 to 7 million square feet of office space was taken by Fortune 1000 company. This is, this is the brand Hyderabad for you. Now, very interesting fact. In the last five years, a lot of new sectors have started adding up. It was earlier pure services company coming and setting up base in Hyderabad. But in the last five years, a lot of product companies, a lot of BFSI companies, a lot of telecom, high-end R&D companies and all. As I told you, five to six years back, uh, five to six years back, Hyderabad had hardly any BFSI. Now we have almost 50% almost of BFSI. Now, uh, uh, due to scarcity of time, I'm just going to... Uh, these are the major transactions in the capital markets. Major, major transaction, close to 8,500 crores. These are the major financiers in Hyderabad. Major partnership in Hyderabad with all the, all the developers. And all this. Recently, last year, as you must be knowing, Tishman Spire got sold by a by, bought by a global giant alliance for more than, more than, more than close to 2,000 crores. Thank you.